What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the camper rehab y'all. So we are about ready to dive back into the camper. Now I know you guys have been asking about it in the comment section in the last few videos and no, we have not abandoned the camper rehab. We just had so much stuff going on in December with everything that came up with Sarah's dad and his passing. Then we had the holidays and Sarah and I was on the road a little bit. We had to wrap up our wedding schedule, get all those videos edited. But we're back. We're back to working on the camper starting right now. Now I've not done much since the last time you saw this. I've taken out a few of the screws back here, but today we are going to finish completely gutting the inside of the camper. And I brought in reinforcements because I needed a little bit of help. So I brought my boy Caleb down from Kentucky. He actually rode down here with his wife and daughter yesterday in their RV, which is much nicer than our camper, I might add. It's uh, he, He's batting down a 30 foot RV, so he's in good shape. So um, you guys have seen Caleb in a few videos before, but he's gonna actually help me demo some of the camper today and see what all we need to do and get after it. Come on, man, rip it out. Use those muscles. Use those muscles. muscles. There you go. One of the things that we had not done yet was checked out the electrical in this camper the last time we talked to you guys. I'd never even plugged it up. So as you guys can see, We've got lights and they all work. Y'all check it out. All the lights work. Um, the microwave works, which we are going to actually remove. The air conditioner works really well. Um, these old lights that I told you guys when we first started that I wanted to refurb them, these dudes do work. Y'all check that out. That's going to be really cool. My plan is to take those and put them back here above the bed. We went in, we dug around and checked everything. All the wiring is good. Um, Caleb helped me check that out earlier today. We just kind of tested everything. The biggest thing we're going to have to do with this camper is I'm gonna pull off one piece of Luon, make sure there's not any mold under here. And as long as there's not, the Luon is structurally sound. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna sand everything down real good. We're gonna re-putty it, put a nice paint job on it. We're gonna reframe these walls to where the bed's in there. And hopefully we're gonna get a lot of that stuff done today. Heck, we might even be headed to the home improvement store this afternoon to pick out some paint if we're lucky. So we're gonna jump in here and take out a few more screws and see what we can get done today. Let's go. <laughs> This is insane, baby. We're getting there. We're gutting the crap out of this sucker. We're definitely, we're getting there at this point. So, yes. um, what do you think? Like, I love it. The, been... the possibilities now, I know I said that earlier, like in the last video, but the possibilities are legit endless. We've got a blank slate coming. And I did want to mention before, this is not a sponsored video at all. But I did want to let you know a lot of the power tools that we're using in this video, our friends over at PowerSmith Lite or RichSmith um, did send us some Genesis yes. power tools. This is not a sponsored video. They're not paying us to say anything about them. But I did want to let you guys know that um, they have been awesome to us through our entire partnership with them. So um, they, we will be using a lot of the tools. They sent us a really cool saw. So what I want to do, just so you guys know, I'm going to leave this cabinet. We're going to reface it, put a new door and everything on it, obviously. But this half really cool. needs to come off because our bed is going yes. to be framed up back here. So that saw that they sent us is going to be really cool because I'm going to be able to come right down through there and cut these in half, which is all I need to do, and then recap the end of that. So this is going to make actually a really, really nice little uh, cabinet area once we get it refaced. So I'll be honest with you guys, for what we paid for this camper, I'm really pleasantly surprised at how much stuff works in it. Like right. we checked all the outlets, they're all good. There's We've taken a piece of Luon off back here in the back. There's no mold in there. So I think we're gonna leave the Luon that's on. We're gonna sand it down real good. We're obviously gonna do a nice paint job on yes. it and make it look a lot cleaner, a lot nicer. But this is not going to be as much of an undertaking as what we thought. It's actually very, very surprising how <laughs> it's well this shape. is going. Like, I don't want to like jump the gun, but I'm very, very surprised at how well this is going so far. So fingers crossed yes. that that continues. And check this out. This ain't going to be here no more. Oh, and look though, we did find out. Check it out, y'all. Microwave works, man. That's in the stove hood. We're gonna take both of these out because we're not gonna have a microwave or a stove hood. No, um, it's not gonna be your traditional camper kitchen because we're basically making this a glorified tent, basically. Tent. Yeah, yeah. And, and here's the thing, and we talked about this before. 
we like cooking outside. Yes, and so, I think a majority of people do. Yeah, I, so we didn't want to like waste a bunch of space to put in here because I mean, we had a nice travel trailer back early on in mine and Sarah's marriage and we never cooked there. We it had an amazing like outside. little kitchenette in there and we never cooked there. We always cooked outside. So we've got a really nice canopy that we can set up right outside yes. of the camper when we take this thing out. And we'll be able to cook out there just like you guys see us do. Now, we've got that Blackstone. We've got a really nice cooker that we invested in. So we really have no need whatsoever mm -hmm. to have a kitchen inside the camper. We would rather utilize this space. And wait till you guys see the seating that we're going to put over here and how we're going to manage this area. Y'all going to dig it. I promise. I'm super excited about this area over here. This is going to be what should be a kitchen, but not quite a kitchen. We're basically going to do a countertop that is going to also be a desk. So like we like to work, we like to work on our computer. So we'll have half of it desk space, half of it like kitchen prep. And we might put a little sink in there. We're still having the debate about the sink because I for one would really like a sink in here, even if we're not going to do the full kitchen, just to like wash your hands, brush your teeth, um, stuff you don't, you need a sink for and you don't want to run over to the bathhouse. You'll have it here at night. Um, so I think a sink would be good. We don't know what kind of countertop. We're thinking maybe, I think Ron was like, what kind did you say, babe? For Micah. Like for Micah, fake like granite. fake granite. I'm thinking butcher block, cause with the vibe that we're wanting for this camper is more of a vintage bohemian. So wait a minute. We're, you want a butcher block countertop, but you don't want my vintage wood grain lights? Like I'm no, confused. But okay. So I like the lights. I'm not a fan no, of the brown. Don't. I don't you like don't the color. Like the, then you don't like the lights. So we'll, we'll, we're gonna paint the lights. Y'all leave them. a comment down We're below. Y'all leave a comment down below if you think we should paint the lights, sand them down, stain them, and refurb them and make them look original. Sand them down and paint them is what I'm saying because I'm not a fan of the brown. I'm not. No, I don't like the brown. And but speaking yet you of want paint, a butcher block wood. Yeah, wood but countertop. they're not that brown. Butcher blocks more of like a lighter color. Butcher blocks whatever color you oil it down to, babe. Come Which I on, want light. Now. I don't like dark brown. It's like having a kitchen with super dark brown everywhere. I don't want that in my life. Oh, and another well, so, you know another what? question this ain't, this is... This ain't Burger King, Sarah. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. You can't have it your way. Yeah, but that's where you're wrong. Video, I can have it my way. The, this it's our camper. It's our freedom of creativity we're gonna do in here so and and while we're debating babe what about the wall color i'm not a fan of the robin's egg blue no we're definitely not going back with robin's egg blue i so. said white to make it clean and cool but he said it would get dirty really fast because camping that, that that's my biggest concern like i don't mind the white but i do have a big concern that it's going to get really dirty really fast if we do white so We'll leave it up to you guys again. We we already had the colors picked for that side. We do have a name picked for the camper. Yes, the but we're not but done. we're not telling you guys that yet. That's gonna we're going to real reveal the name of the camper when we show you guys the final finished product. And I promise you, it won't be as long in between videos this time. Like I told you guys in the intro, we just had a lot of stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, it's a whirlwind of stuff happening. Yeah, there was there was a lot going on in December, so it won't be as long in between videos. When we get this camper done, we're going to tell you guys what we've named it. But we've already picked the colors for the outside. That's done. Um, but we do need a color for the inside. So you guys tell us what you saw, what you like, what you think we ought to do. You know, Sarah wants to go white. I'm afraid that'll look dirty. So you guys give us your suggestions down in the comment section. We'd love to hear what you think. White. Where's it venting to? I don't think it's venting to anywhere. Yeah. It's right here. You can see this is where they used to have the oak microwave. Yeah, for sure. So this hood vent is what Caleb and I are talking about. So this thing works, but it's not vented to anything. Like it's just like, it's basically just there to make noise. Cause it's not got any wires. As you guys can see coming out, the only thing coming out this side is the electrical wire and there's nothing running up or back. So that thing's not venting anything. Right. Got uh -oh. it. You, uh -oh. What? We got more money. Hey. I found 25 cents today. And, and like a look. three or four dollar pair of pliers. Sweet. Easy man, don't turn my water lines up now. Those are important. <laughs> we need those. Caleb's like a bull in a china shop, y'all. He just starts ripping stuff hey, apart. You ask for help, you I get know. it. That's what happens when you bring in the muscle, man. Right there. Hang on. Here, let's see if we can. Mo uh -oh. money. That's 26 cents. Yeah. Racking it up, baby. Muscle man. 
Yeah, look at all this space. <laughs> Once we get all this up, the next big thing's the couch area back there to knock that out. That should be bad. Although I'm a little concerned about this floor over here. Yeah, it's, let's go ahead and pull this up and see what it's we got It's super going on. wobbly, like staying on it, babe, and show them. It's like even like... Is that a fat joke? No, I'm just saying. It's like, look There's at There's definitely something wobbly. under here. Like Something's happening. And we didn't plant anything under here, so... I just want to make sure that's not where our money's going to end up going. Oh, I see what it is. Are we cracked? No, it's just a, it's a pipe to the lawn that they didn't cut off. Oh, so could we cut that off? Yeah, for sure. And then it won't be so wobbly? Okay, good. I was like, oh my gosh, we have to replace all of this. And that was just like, so Got me. Oh, brr, brr, brr. Ew. Ew. What? <laughs> there was water in that. Oh. Ew. But at least it's in the pooper side. No, that's gross. Are you sure it didn't come out? It's black. Man, don't it's say it like that, Sarah. It's We're going to pretend it's not the pooper side. It's the pooper side. Getting real sick of your crap, Sarah. <laughs> you said crap after that. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness. All right, y'all, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm out here working on the camper, and we're making some noise and stuff. I thought right? they was coming for us. And all of a sudden, like, three sheriff's cars just rolled in <laughs> hot. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And then the K-9 jumped out. I'm like, did a Karen call the cops on me? What oh, I was happened? scared. So, I went in the house to go get some pliers for you, and they was rolling. And I'm yeah, like, like, I, I know, paused. I'm, I'm still not sure why they're here. They went over to the mm -hmm. marina across the street. So, But they got the K-9 unit out. So I don't know what's going on, but I'm telling y'all right now. Yo boy's heart just sank down to my oh kneecaps because I thought somebody done called the law on us. No, like legit, every scenario ran through my head. I just froze. I'm like, I'm like uh, what did my, I do? My first thought was, was there drugs in the camper? And I didn't know about it. And when we started <laughs> burning them, like somebody smelled, like I didn't know what happened. Because I'm telling y'all, I literally stepped out the camper and all of a sudden these cops come rolling in hot, like real I hot. I felt like I was fast. on an episode of FBI. I'm I like, know. what do we I'm do? I'm like, what's going on? So I think we're safe though. But we're safe. I don't know we, about whoever's We're going to hang there. out for a minute to see if they drag anybody out over here for sure because that might be what's yeah, up. Yeah, because I want to know who's who's being naughty across the street from me. Sarah always says some of these uh, sailboat owners hey, look real, real I, You know, I tell you I got stories for everybody and one of my stories might just be true. <laughs> Dude, they're legit running. Why are they running? Wrong with you. We made it. We're at one of the home improvement stores, and I'm gonna prove to you the colors we need. I want to show them the colors we need, and I'm really gonna convince you about the butcher block. Like I'm confused. I thought you were like super excited about demo. You are really excited oh. about like the shopping part, the designing part, and just like that's the fun part. All right, let's go in here and pick out some countertops. It's not gonna be butcher block, and some paint colors. Let's Whatever. go. We are here looking at countertops. I might have given in. I might have given in, and I'm letting him pick out an actual countertop. Yeah, no, no butcher no block. No butcher block. But if it's my forever camper, I'm getting butcher block. I'm... Where's the smoky blue? Is that like the smoky yeah. right there? So the camper demolition is serving multiple purposes tonight. It's keeping everybody warm. It is still a little chilly here yeah. in the panhandle. I think we're down to like, I think 38, 40 degrees, something like that tonight. So we're burning all the wood we took out of the camper in a burning barrel. And this dude is hot. We have to ask you, cause everybody's gonna wanna know, what was the stuff worth? The Stein and the, oh, the little tea jug or the whatever. The teapot was $45 and the Stein was 35. Did you sell them on eBay? I did, both of them. So guys, we've already recouped like 70 or $80. No, you haven't. Why? <laughs> cause I kept the money. Well, Okay, so mom is recouped. What do you mean you kept the money? How did we not see that money? You That's never not... said you wanted the money. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. So mom actually, like, I guess kept the money. Man, that makes my face look red. Like, that's freaky right there. That's so red. So, so yeah, I guess mom's keeping the money for that. So mom and dad did make a huge investment on purchasing the camper, though. So I guess if she wants to keep the 80 bucks for that, that's not a, not a problem. So <laughs> we're back. You struggling getting up in I there? I was struggling. So one thing we do need to buy, make, install is a step. <laughs> yeah, the step. Um, as far as exterior of the camper goes, we need a step and a step. wheel. Step. Oh, yeah. We, <laughs> we're still rolling on three wheels right now, guys. Yeah, this is the tricycle. So, great. 
All right, so that's about it for this one. We do have the, com the camper completely gutted. We are going to leave this up here. We're yes. going to rehab this. So we not the stove hood. We're going to take the stove hood off. Um, but this, we're actually going to just repaint, trim it out right, and then put some new doors on it. Same thing up there. We're going to keep those cabinets. Yep. Um, um, he did talk me into keeping the lights, but... Um, I'm going to paint them. Yeah, she's going to paint them, but we're going to keep them, which I'm okay with. So, um, lights are staying. We'll be transporting yes. those to back here. And then this cabinet, half of it's staying, half of it's gone. Um, I do have a saw that our friends over at Powersmith sent us um, that I'm going to use to cut this. I just haven't cut that yet. But I feel like I should use those tools first. You probably can. I don't know. I don't think oh, that's a problem. Oh, and we're going to do something really cool around the air conditioning unit because the air conditioning unit is kind of an eyesore since we took out the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to do something really cool in this area that I think you're all going to love. Yeah, it's going to look really cool. Yeah. We are going to keep this air conditioner. Yeah, it actually works. It's wonderful yeah, it air conditioner. Yeah, it actually works really, really well. Good. And we are doing this camper Super on good. a budget. So. Yeah, we're going to be balling on a budget and we're going to show you exactly like what we spent on all the yeah. extras and so all the fun stuff. So we could definitely get a, a air unit to go up in the top. It's already pre-cut for yeah. one, but that's like a, you know, an eight to $1,200 purchase. And honestly, while this one doesn't look the greatest, it is working and the holes and are there. And when that's going so. with the whole like glorified tent, like concept, yes. you don't need all that, yeah. all those bells and whistles. All right, so just a quick recap. We cut out everything back here. Like Even this, that like, wall. Uh, yeah, we weren't gonna take this wall out. We ended up taking this wall out. We're gonna fix this up. We do have to replace a little bit down here. We're gonna get in here with the shop back, clean that out. So the next time you guys tune in, we will make it a lot quicker this time. It's not going to be as long. I told you guys at the beginning of the video, we just had a lot going on in the month of December. Yeah, it, it was, was just, super crazy, it was just crazy. But we're so, ready to go at it. Um, next time, next video, we're going to be putting new flooring down. That's going to be one of the first things we're going to be doing. We're building our own cabinet for up front. We're going to put a countertop across that. What kind of countertop? Uh, it's not going to be butcher block. It's going to be for my no. guys. So. It is still be really awesome. She agreed though. at the store. I agreed at that, the store, but with us wanting to keep it at a budget, and this girl thinks butcher block countertops is going to be cheaper than Formica. She has that's no why clue. I said we're not doing the butcher block because it's more expensive. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to break out the power tools in the next video. We're going to do a bunch of sanding, painting, sealing. We're going to make this thing's going to start really, really coming together and looking it nice. Will. In the very next video, still a little bit dirty, still a little rough around the edges. Gonna go. Yeah, but uh, by the time we get Robin's to the next, or... by the time we get to the next video, this is gonna look a lot different, and we are pretty pumped. So, guys, I truly hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I know it was a little while getting to it. We have not abandoned the camper project. <laughs> we got a lot of cool stuff coming up soon. Yeah. I might even be sneaking away for a couple trips in the next week or so. Who knows? We'll see what's up with that. If you like this video, make sure you give it a great big thumbs up. Oh. If you're new here to the Cameraman Ron channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. 2022 style. We can't wait to see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care. We'll see you soon. Bye.